Yo guys, welcome back to my channel. You don't know already, it's Jay Edwards. I've been gone for a cool minute and I'm back with another episode of Air Times with Jay. Like, I come with a new setup in partnership with Indra Studio. So make sure you guys go check them out. All their details will be in the description box below. Use Jay Edwards 20 for 20% off. Today I'm joined with a very special guest, you know. Right person to come up on my channel with. <laughs> Amari, I'm in slow motion, everything. You've been doing your thing on social still. Yeah, hi. Like, introduce yourself. What do you do? What have you been doing? Like? Um, I'm a singer, song. Where am I looking? In hmm? the camera. Anyway, anyway. Uh, um, I'm a singer, songwriter, and yeah. Singer, songwriter, actor. Oh, yeah, actor. Artist. Actor, you, you just forgot about the acting. Yeah, part. yeah, yeah, artist. I feel like you've been blowing up a lot but over the past year. Like, mm. you've gone gain a lot of recognition wherever mm -hmm. it be through TikTok, Instagram, mm -hmm. all them different kind of things. And I feel like the first song I heard from you was Hypocrite. Mm. And I feel like after that, when I did your covers come before or after that? Before. Before? Yeah. After I heard your covers mm. and then those were getting a lot of views. So I feel like within the past year or so, your name mm. has been growing a lot. Yeah. But you've been about for time. Yeah, I've been about, not for time, but I've been there about for like a minute. A minute? Yeah. It's been like covers. I started off doing covers, yeah. but not on Instagram or Facebook. Yeah. And then obviously switched over to Insta, yeah, did my covers quiet, and then so quiet. Why am I so quiet? Yeah. I don't know. I know you have more energy than this. No, I'm actually mad quiet like this. <laughs> <laughs> on social media you perpetuate this yeah, like confidence. No, because that's because I'm in my own comfort. So now you're not in your own comfort. No, I'm not in my own comfort. I'm a bit like, like anxious. You know, like, yeah, put on the spot. I'm, I'm hot. Like, <laughs> you know, <laughs> well, congratulations on your new show. It's been much another place. Everyone Thank been you hearing so it. Thank you so much. TikTok. Thank you. Like, was that a strategic thing? You just think to just put it on TikTok? Um, like? TikTok, that TikTok thing, my mum actually, she was, I was playing it, mm. the song, and she was like, oh, like, you should do TikTok. But I didn't know what TikTok was. Really? I don't There's use it. I know, that's what I'm saying. Like, I don't, when it comes to social media, my only, my main social platform is Instagram. iMessage. Oh, iMessage. <laughs> yeah, iMessage <laughs> and Snapchat. I don't okay. use Instagram, I don't use thing. So then she was telling me about TikTok and I downloaded it. When did she tell you about TikTok? The day, the same day I posted the challenge. Don't lie. I swear to you. I swear same ones. TikTok to you. has been about for, for a minute. Everyone's know, been using it. I don't, like. I don't, like, I don't tap into social media oh. like that. I know it's bad, isn't it? So when you put it out, then everyone's I just got better recognition from it. Like a lot, like it just blew up. Like okay. overnight, literally. So, how do you feel when you saw so many people to like take into the song and it was even out yet? Like, there's a lot. Of, listen, I wasn't even running down my friends yet to be like, "Yo, send me the tune." Like, I'm not gonna lie. Is it? I was like, "Send me the song, send me the song." They're like, "No, I can't do it." She has a song wrote. So, like, she said not to release a song. Da, 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 da. I was mm. like, Fam, "Send me the song." I want the vibes to the song. The song is lit. Like, no one's gonna bust me yeah, the I know, song. I know. Um, I don't know. Like, it was at first. Yeah. It was like cool. Like they fuck with it, and then I'm just seeing a lot. A lot more, a lot more, but not from just mm. like it was global, like a lot from global, France, a lot okay, from yeah. wherever. And then I just think, like, right, like I actually need to release this, but I was taking time to release it because I was going through like some stuff with label. Mm -hmm. So I was just taking time and then. No, yeah, you took I a bent, long time. Yeah, I took, I took, I took a fuck fucking long time. <laughs> yeah, I know, but it wasn't me, like it's timing, innit? I personally feel like the time I released it was the right time. Yeah, it was the right time. Yeah. But I also felt like there was a lot of anticipation. Like, man, even downloaded, listen, I'm not gonna lie, I even downloaded the Instagram live <laughs> and she used to come up with my phone. But like, people were like, oh, play, like, when I'm in the car and you know you got the aux cable, you yeah. just wanna play the tunes then. And I was like, cool, let me just download the thing off YouTube. But did you get it taken off? Um, yeah, because of the fake page, Emma. Off? Emma, I don't know who that was. Emma oh. was making money off of my song, you know? <laughs> <laughs> Where did you start? Um, mad thing is, I started playing football. football? Like, yeah, I used to play for Arsenal Girls in Leighton Orient. Why is it Arsenal Girls? Like I know, Arsenal, yeah, come on yeah. now. Yeah. Arsenal's the best, I don't want to hear anything. Anyway, yeah, I started playing for Arsenal. You didn't then come home though. Eventually, <laughs> <laughs> then eventually, I went to Brit school and okay. I started doing like the triple threat thing, singing, mm -hmm. acting, dancing. I researched the Wally Bumble one. Oh yeah. my God. You back date back to 2010. <laughs> Listen, was, people, you think I'm done. joking? Everything, there's one website with everything. Listen, yeah, I was just like... Google Eyes though. Google Eyes? 100%. I'm seeing you was in CBBs, what? CBBC. CBBC got what it takes. Got what it takes. Yeah. What was that like? <laughs> what yeah. an experience. That was actually good. It was, a, was a good. It was. It was a con. Yeah. It was a yeah, contest. Explain to the people that don't know. Yeah, it was like a singing contest mm -hmm. on CBBC. Yeah. And like. That's what I can tell. I can't remember. But I know I won. I remember oh, I won. You won. You yeah, did win. Of course you yeah, did. I won. Like, <laughs> man, so, do you know what I mean? And then also, I'm seeing other things like, what? You sang for the Olympics? Yeah, I sang for the Olympics. Wow. Oh, oh. my gosh, she thought you were, you were recent, right? Yeah, go on. Yeah, I sang for the Olympics. Oh my gosh, I was... You're being very humble right I now. I was so small. This is your time to boast. I don't like doing that. I don't I feel like that's just so... Ugh. Listen, you just come out. You have a song. You're yeah, young. Not a lot of people can get that much recognition for one that's song. That's true. It's so true. I mean? So it's not about being 
boastful, but mm. you have something to be proud about. Do you know yeah. what I mean? Yeah, you did it since stuff. you was a young G. Mm. 2010, we're now in 2021. No, literally. Like, oh, so, yeah, I done the Olympics. Wow. I done that, that, The Voice. Oh, The Voice. Um, yeah. yeah, I done The Voice Kids. I done, I done a lot. I done Huntley v. Harlem, and yeah. they flew me out to America to perform in Apollo. So, what was your life like in the early years? What was Young Mara like? It was Where wow. did you grow up? I was Huntley, man. I'm a Huntley mm. babe. Yeah, no, <laughs> I'm a hackney babe, I'm a hackney babe. Yeah. Um, I feel like... For a hackney girl, you're very... What's that? What is that? Just... Oh gosh. Or can you be... <laughs> what does that mean? Like you're very just calm. Just calm? Yeah. So what are hackney girls? Do you know what I mean? Like, Hackney girls are done out here. No, like, South you know girls I mean? are done out here. Like, Hackney and South girls are both dangerous, isn't it? No, Hackney, you know I mean? no, South and North, they're together. No, I'm from North and I'm saying you were not like that. Where in North? Like Tottenham sides? Yeah, around that area. We're calm. Okay. I'm not going to be out my team on social, but okay, we're cool. calm. Maybe yeah. the fellas, the themes, mm. not too calm. What was Young Amari like? <laughs> no, it was like, I Amari, grew up in, sorry, not Amari. Um, I've done a lot of like singing stuff in Hackney Empire. Yeah. So like I was a to stage up? How stuff. did you grow up? What was like your home life like? Oh, oh like, oof. <clears throat> I don't know, like you after school club. No, my my childhood was lit. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't have those struggling ones. Not to, you know, not to yeah, care, yeah. but I don't know. My childhood was lit. Like I always had great energy around me. Yeah. My siblings, friends, you like can I always see, had. I saw some pictures on Google. You just oh, get giving a teeth, like. Get, get, get a grip. Yeah, like I had a great childhood. Like my childhood was. Yeah, and I feel great. like because you started so young, mm. being introduced into. Say the lamb, like, mm. you kind of grew up a bit, no? Yeah. So it was like, it got, it got natural over time. Yeah, 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 yeah. So how do you feel stepping into the UK dance hall scene in a way? We're not going to do that. I am not a UK art um, dance hall artist. Then what are you? I'm an R&B artist. What? I just do the dance hall thing because I can. Not a lot of people can. A lot of people force it. A lot of these UK artists force it. So you're going to say yours is forced? And mine's not forced, no, because well, that's you, my you background. Grew, you grew up in the UK? I grew up, no, I didn't. Who told you that? Oh, you did? <laughs> you didn't grow up in the UK? UK? No. Where did you grow up? I grew up in Jamaica. Oh, so? Yeah, I'm Guyanese, so I was more time over there as well. Oh, okay. Um, oh, so you're from UK, Guyana? I'm from Anyways? Guyana, Barbados, and Jamaica. Okay, now what a mix. I was always in Jamaica, mm -hmm. so that was my background. I was always there, so yeah. the lingo, the patois, it wasn't, it's not forced. A lot of artists yeah. try it. I didn't try it, it just happens. I feel like... When I sing, yeah. like I always do R&B, like I'm R&B babe, yeah. you get? But I feel like when you can what do something, you what songs? Yeah. Old or new? Old school or? Are or you more of an old school Old school, school babe, 100%. Okay. What kind of, what, what like, is your favorite artist? Favorite artist of all time? Mm -hmm. Kiki White and mm -hmm. Patti LaBelle, 100%, my babes. More current? More current, <laughs> Kalani. <laughs> but yeah, you didn't read these artists, but you look like one girl low key, like even just the way how you just now, like you're going like and you no, not not oh. a champ, like you're going road and you thump somebody up, like you got the tattoos you on your neck, yeah. Show them the tattoos, like oh. hands and that. You look like you will just go out and punch somebody up. So I'm not no. really thinking that you, because when I'm hearing the voice and then I'm looking at you, like you look like a nice sweet girl, but then you look like you have a side to you that like you was going on and just. No, I don't have that side. I've got like a I'm cheeky. Yeah. When it comes to be, when there's time to be. Can cheap. you fight? Can I fight? Hundred percent. Oh can't? wait, sorry, there's drinks here. Like, can you first? Oh uh, please. What do you want? Juice, this. So um, your wine, babe. <laughs> no, it's not even that. Is you know what it is? I was given this, and I was meant I was to go to Tesco there. and then buy Ray and nephew and that, but obviously time was running behind. You know when production was like, yo, you got to be here by a certain time. You got to be here by a certain time. It's nice on her. Huh? It's nice on her. Thank you. It's nice, isn't it? Yeah, it's nice. Thank you. It's a new yeah. setup, do you know what I mean? Get used to it. Before slow motion, mm -hmm. there was hypocrite. There was hypocrite. I like that song. Why do you like that song? Tell me why you like it. There's a lot of hypocrites out there. There's a lot of, you can relate. Yeah, relate I can relate to the song. Very relatable. Bit of bad man people out there. Very. What's a lot. <laughs> a lot. How did that come about, though? We're not to go into too much that you know, because we don't want to give out free clout. But anyway, uh -huh. there's a, a situation of That sounds really negative, but go on. <laughs> like, it's a little old. I don't like this thing, but go on. It's nasty. <laughs> yeah, nasty. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, like, there was a little mishap, I would say. Mm -hmm. And um, I thought at that time I was very petty. And I just, I don't resort, I don't like to fight. I don't like violence. So okay. I feel like I can use. But you've got all piercings, you've got the tattoos. Yeah, got because I'm gangster. And she's got little Gucci as well. What's this stuff on them? Like, I got the. the you know, a little stone island on that. Just, what little song, just a little something, something. Yeah, no, I just feel like, what's the point in fighting when I got a voice? I can sing that. Yeah. So I've done your dance with vocals, lyrics. Oh, you've been done in the dance. You get it? Like, I, mean, like, I personally feel like my mm. lyrics are stupid. So. <laughs> 
And, you know, humbly. <laughs> humbly. Uh, humbly. Yeah, not to my own home, but yeah, do you get it? So yeah. I just felt like it was needed, but I feel like it's relatable to a lot of people. 100%. And I feel like when I heard the song, it was just like, it was a bop, and it was just like, one five, and if you could learn that. Yeah. It's, it's just a vibe. I, I feel like, like the UK, we all know it's bad vibes. 100%. I just feel it. like there's a lot of competition. Like, mm. like I feel like everyone wants to compete with each okay, other. If I'm there's not enough unity. 100%. There's not enough you need. And if I'm being real with you, not to gash your head mm -mm -mm. or anything, I don't feel like there's no one else I can compare you with. Yeah. I feel like you're kind of, if you're, you're in your own lane. My own little Yeah, corner. your own little lane, your own little <laughs> corner. Which is a good thing yeah. because it means like you don't have much to fight against. Yeah. But why have you taken your time with releasing music? Then you feel like as soon as one, the first one hit, then the second one, then the next one. I feel like no, you're taking I time. No, I feel like rushing the process will get you nowhere. I feel like when you know it's the right time, it's the right time. Yeah. Because a lot of the time with artists, Yeah. It, there's a lot of one-hit wonders, do you get it? Because they're just putting out a bad song, a putting out a man. sick song, and then they're releasing one yeah. after the other, and you're not giving what you're supposed to give, do you 100%. get it? There's complications in music. Everyone just thinks it's just writing lyrics, and then, yeah. cool, I'm going to release it. No, are there's a lot of... A yeah. You are? Yeah. What label are you signed to? Columbia. Wow. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> what has that experience been like? When, when like, did I just, you sign? I, I've signed like two days ago. Two days ago? Yeah, two days ago. Two but days it's not ago. out yet. Yeah, it's not out yet. So, so they're going to do it. Yeah, they're going to do like a little... Man said, uh, so when did they reach out to you and what was it for? A lot of labels have been yeah. reaching out, but I was signed before to Black Butter. But obviously, I came mm -hmm. out of that. I wouldn't know. That was Sony. So obviously, I came out oh. of that and then literally, Everyone heard like the little snippet on TikTok of the slow yeah. motion, and then labels are just throwing at me, throwing at me, throwing at me. But I decided like Columbia. So do you feel like you would have been where you're at without social media? I felt no. I felt no. Definitely not. I feel like social media plays a big part. Mm. Social media is running the world now. Hundred percent. Have you always had a good support system growing up? You would say. Yeah, hundred percent. Who was your biggest support in that sense? My brother, my uncle, yeah. my mom, and everyone. And I just feel like family. Yeah. Like, everyone's very close, isn't it? Yeah. So if I'm doing something, everyone's going to push it. There's yeah. not, like, a specific person that's been my go-to support. Like, everybody okay. supports Did me. other people see the potential in you before you saw it in yourself? Yeah, or definitely. Except I was going to, before slow motion release, I definitely wasn't, was not doing music anymore. Like, really? What? Yeah, like, uh, before slow motion came out, like, I was this close to saying, fuck music. Like, no, but there's no way you would have had the song running for so long. Do you know how long I've done slow motion? Like a year ago. But why do you hold on to songs for so long? Because, because I, I just feel the I like timing. Them. Like, I just feel like, no, honestly, last year I'd done slow motion, but I had yeah. a different hook. It wasn't, oh, you're saying that slow motion. It wasn't that. But well, that's the best hook. Exactly. Okay. And it's only quarantine, yeah. the pandemic, made me go back to that song and fix it. So now that you're signed to a label, don't you feel like there'll be more pressure for you to release music? Not necessarily my label, my label is easy. Because I've got music for days. Yeah. I don't even have to do anything. Yeah, you have all, so all much I songs. Can, I've got so much songs, so all yeah. I've got to do is pitch it to them mm -hmm. and like, yeah, I want that one. Yeah, I want that one. Would you say that you've always been known? You've always been known? Yeah. Where's your friendship circle like? Tight. You Small. feel like there's a lot of... Would you say that you've come across a lot of people that will see you doing your thing and shout to Ask, lick my ass. Yeah. 100%. And use you. <laughs> and, huh? And use you. And use me. I don't allow people to get that close to use me. Okay. I feel yeah, like I'm the user. 100%. In what sense? In whatever sense you want to take it. <laughs> really, really, I like... feel like I don't, I don't trust a lot in it. I don't trust. Mm -hmm. So I feel like if I allow you to get close, I'm allowing you. Don't feel like yeah. you've got to me. I've allowed that. Do you get it? Yeah. Like my circle, so it's premeditated. You pre everyone's I pre I'm, You see how you say I'm quiet? Yeah. I'm reading everything. I'm reading mm -hmm. your vibe. Your, like, yeah, you're cool. What's that What's my star sign? Yeah. Oh, Pisces. Oh, okay. Oh, here we go. But Pisces talk a lot, though. Pardon? Pisces talk a lot. Talk a lot about what? Well, when I have girls in it, they just tell me enough about the star signs. I heard that Pisces chat a lot. They're very emotional, like, they're very, um, what's it called? Sensual, like. I don't know what Pisces emotions. you're talking about. My part, I'm... You're not emotional? I'm, I'm, I don't, would you say I'm emotional? I feel like... You're asking a person that's outside. Sorry, 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 like, <laughs> sorry, I don't know. I feel like I'm more... I'm laid back. Yeah, I'm affectionate. Very okay. affectionate. It comes through in the music. S silly amount of affection. Really? And I feel like I'm just... Toxic. <laughs> really? In what sense? I'm toxic. What relationship. Sense? That's why I can never be in a relationship. Like, I'm just toxic. Like, I'm bad. Not bad toxic, but it's just like, we're not done. Do you get it? Until I say we're done. Is that simple? I swear down. I'm toxic. But I don't mind it. How much relationships have you been in? Two. Two? Yeah. So the two, you just now let them go? No, nah, the first had to go. <laughs> the first was like five years. That had to go. That had to finish. Well, you really didn't let go, you know? Nah, five years? I know it was bad. But that wasn't... She made me toxic, 100%. Okay. And then the other one... Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> 
<laughs> she has a friend in the back just doing that sap sap. We ain't going to okay. give him that. So you yeah. said she, you're open yeah. with your sexuality. 100%. When did you realize that? And the girl in the middle of? Um, I don't label myself, so I'm just open. Mm. But I, I, just for a long time, innit? Like when mm. you know something, you know. Mm. You just know, innit? Have you tried it with men? No. How do you not know the grass is green? Because the that's there. I wouldn't want to, like, I can see, like, I can look at you and say, you're very attractive, you're a beautiful young man, but it will never go anywhere. Is that personal to me or are you just saying that? Generally? No, I'm being serious, you're very beautiful, Gross. but it will never be a man. <laughs> Forget it, like, yeah. But what makes you, like, okay, cool, so if you've never tried something, is it, it's a difference if, all right, you're trying a guy, turned you off, you're going to a girl, you're like, cool, yeah, I like it there, you know what I mean? No, but I just know that it, that's like, it's just like me saying, mm. I prefer bloody. Turkish food over something else. I know I'm not going to that something else. Oh, well, like it? me, that's never tried mushrooms, but I know I don't like it. You've never tried it? Nah. Why? It's disgusting. Mushroom? Yeah. No, man, they're not. It's Very disgusting. nice. They're Mine's nice. got black shit inside of it. <laughs> <laughs> it doesn't make sense, like... I'm fucking dead. That's like saying, why does sushi have rice in it? What the fuck? I'm dead. But have you, would you say that you've faced any hardship being so open, not being so open, but you're open with your sexuality and the mm-hmm. fact that you like girls? Has anyone ever been like, mm, or... No, I don't like, I feel like I get, I've got really thick skin. I feel like in the industry, mm-hmm. you have to have thick skin. Do you feel like you have thick skin or you tell yourself you have thick skin? No, I have thick skin, trust me. Oh, yeah. <laughs> right. Now, if it's true though, you can yeah. tell yourself that you have it and it's still get affected by things, but I don't yeah. get affected by anything. Having thick skin in this industry is mandatory. What age did you realize that the girls and was what you loved? Very, very, very young. Really? Yeah. Did you tell your parents straight away? No, they told me. What? <laughs> yeah. Can you they go into that? Like, like, as in, this, not to go into it, but they told me, and I said, yeah. Like, we just had a convert, like, we got, we conversate, innit? Like, or was it where they saw you doing certain things and no. they were like, it's, it's this way it is. No, it's just like, I don't know. Everyone's different with their parents, isn't it? Some yeah. people won't say nothing because they're shocked. Me, I'm not afraid to say nothing. I feel like you're of the lucky few because there's a lot of people out there that yeah, are that, not. Yeah, 100%. But Where I are your feel parents like, from, sorry again? Um, Barbados, Guyana, and Jamaica. Yeah, so the Jamaica alone mm. would have made it very hard for someone to be that like, yo. I like girls, mm-hmm. da, 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 whatever, whatever. Was it the fact that your parents are just loving and they love and respect you regardless of what? I think, or... I, maybe, maybe, I don't know, but I'm just saying like with me, me as a person, yeah. I don't shy away from things. Like mm-hmm. if I feel like I have something to say, I'm going to say it. Mm-hmm. And whether your reaction's good, bad, I'm going to say it. Because okay. that's how I feel. I don't let, well, in certain aspects, I don't let it hold back. Okay, yeah. so your immediate family didn't mind. The older generation, now, do you have... No, they don't um, care. No one cares. No one cares? They let me be me. You know, like, this is so, like, this is a nominee because not a lot is of... Is it? Yeah, like... Yeah, I feel like, but that happens, like, with when my supporters, like, ask me, like, oh, like, how do you mm. come out and rare, rare, rare. I just... The only advice I can is just to tell them. If you're not ready to tell them, then you're not ready yet. Yeah. But eventually you should. Don't let that. I feel like if your parent is a parent, that shouldn't stop. Yeah. You get it? Like, 100%. I just feel like, what the fuck? So, <clears throat> the fact that you have a tight family, I guess, mm-hmm. you was open with, you know, telling them what your sexual preference is, mm-hmm. what it was. It was a thing where, how did school take it even? School? You went through secondary school and like that. Yeah. What was that like? <laughs> Like, would you go up to a girl and be like, yo, my life, you know, like, that's no, a big No, the first person I was with was my school days. Okay. And that was for five years, so I was with and that how do you approach that situation? Do you just call her over and be like, yo, I like you, like? No, that situation, I actually can't go into that because that is actually so embarrassing. It's school, like, But, you know, no, what? the way it happened, <laughs> that was you just, just a, that. It, was a, it was just very techy. Just to say that was very techy, but it worked out until it ended. When did it end? Oh, five years after? Um, no, it ended like two years ago. Two, no, two, three, like three years ago, yeah, three years ago. So what was it like in school being in a relationship with a girl? Well, it was on and you, off. You're no, you by the way. I'm trusting, that ended last year. <laughs> that ended last year? Properly. We're in 2020. Yeah, that ended last year. So properly. it was on and off relationship? On and off for a very long time. Like I said, throughout school years and now, College, yeah, all like all of that. Now it ended properly, like no communication, no nothing. That was last year. So what was it like going through school? It was... Breeze, isn't it? Like um, you're in Hackney, though. I feel yeah, like they're more but I'm tough. Known, like. like I'm known in Hackney, so it was, it wasn't, it was like everyone knew. Do you know what it was? It was like, fam, I'm doing my thing. I've been on shows, contests. I'm singing for the Olympics and that. What can you tell me? Like I'm doing my no, thing. No, but I don't Pop use off. that. Can I tell you something? You no. know I don't use that. Like I don't use my. No, but naturally people <laughs> wouldn't even try it with you because it's like you've been doing your thing. So it's the but fact that's that you're what, doing that's your thing. That's what pisses me off, though, because I wouldn't. Me, I hate yeah. moving to people. Like I, I don't go out my way to move to someone because I just feel like that is so catty. 
Right. But uh-huh. I would want if someone was to approach me and say like, right, like drop game on me. I love that. Drop game on me. Let me see if you can actually drop game. Why don't you drop game on them? Because I can do it. Like it's boring. It gets boring over. Because someone... you used to do it. What? Because it's not cool. Like, like do you know what I'm saying. But now, yeah. when people drop game on me now, it's like raw. Like it's nice. Like it's, it's, nice. it's, it's like, I, that I know that you you got mm-hmm. you got that confidence. Like that will make me want you even more. So what is your type? I don't have a type, but my my Fuck I don't have a type. Let me say, let me say, I don't no, have a type. No, I feel like everyone says that everyone has a type. No, I don't have a type. Like my ideal, type. my ideal type, mm. tattoos and piercings. That's my, that's been my ideal type. What if our faces pierce up everywhere? <laughs> you don't know. <laughs> anyway, it doesn't matter. Tattoos Girly girls or masculine? No, feminine. Feminine. Hundred. Are you the more masculine one? I don't label myself, but... Would you put on a dress? No, don't be silly. Do I look like the type of one a dress? Or a skirt? <laughs> you never know, you might have shape on the new No, I don't have no shape, What do you love. mean? Oh, I don't do that, no. Nah. Yeah. yeah, I always say I'm the more... Yeah. Mm. So, your friendships? Mm-hmm. You're closest to guys more than girls, or is it mixed? It's mixed. It's mixed. It's mixed. Friend in other words. <laughs> guys more than girls. What, did you supposed to be? Yeah. I think guys, I see you when you're having DJs and I'm like, I'm friends no, and, definitely and guys. Me. I feel like, maybe because my best friend, I'm with my best friend 24-7. Who's your best friend? DJ Shaq. Okay, okay, that makes sense. Do you mix well with people? Are you good at networking? I got like, I feel like I got social anxiety. You don't, because like, you came be... in here, you're now speaking to me fine. Is that because I'm open this? Oh, right. <laughs> <laughs> don't be just the baby. <laughs> definitely the baby. No, so, I feel like, um, mm-hmm. I'm... I don't know. I don't like talk. Like I like talking, but I don't like talking at the same time. Like I'd yeah. rather just be there and just enjoy, enjoy the vibe. Just be yeah. quiet and chill. Right, guys, before we get back into the interview, listen, I got my mask business, isn't it? No of you lot said there was telling me to start business, and you know what I mean. Put your money where your mouth is, and now stop my business, my mouth business, yeah. Wait, what you said about outside, but you're not outside. You got to still wear the mask and the TFL thing. So make sure you guys type in maskonlondon.com. Support my business. Shop my team. Top quality mask. Wait. Top quality mask, OB, it's not real, you understand? Super affordable, 40% off on the side right now. Do the things there. I love that. Right. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, going into the voice now. Mm-hmm. How was that whole, what made you decide to go on the voice? Who encouraged you to go on the voice? Um, you usually, you would audition for the voice, but I didn't audition, I, I didn't know of it, like I didn't audition. They casted, like they emailed my manager mm. and said like, right, like we've seen your brand. Was the manager family? Um, I got a couple, so, okay. so they, they uh, emailed them and said like, can she come down just to sing and see how her, and then they let me. Who was the judges for that season? Will I Am. Yeah, we got Will I Am. I'm dead. <laughs> oh my gosh, did, who sings Don't Let Me Carry Me Out Again? Pixie Lot, yeah, Pixie Lot, yeah. and two other, I can't remember the other. Okay. It's all right. What was it like, how far did you reach? The second round. Okay. So like the three when you do, Mm. The three people. What was it like? What age were you when you went on there? I'm not too sure. Was you young? Yeah, I was definitely young. Very, very young. Under 15? 100%. Under 12? I think I was like 13 maybe. So what was it like going on there? Huge audience of people. TV knows you are. You're singing, not knowing if someone's going to turn around. Yeah, was that, that like? was the worst part. Not yeah. knowing if someone was going to turn around or not because I feel like it's different to, It's different singing in front of mm. people and by yourself. Like yeah. When you're by yourself, yeah. you're more confident. Your voice don't rasp, your voice don't break. Like when I'm like recording that. by myself, it's a different team. Mm. I reckon my TikTok's on myself, it's a different team. Yeah, like yeah. But when it was in front of them, I was very nervous. You have a voice. Oh, thank you. I mean, you have a voice. <laughs> thank you. Yeah. Um, yeah, and then they turned around, but that was, I feel like that was the best part, not knowing if they were going to turn around. Who turned around? Um, Pixie Lock, Willa, and my mother. Oh, like that. Really? Who did you pick? Um, Pixie Lock. Why? Because they told me. <laughs> Who do you mean they told you to pick Pixie Lock? Yeah, TV's fixed bit. So, it happens sometimes. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> I feel like I don't know what I'll say that. <laughs> Like, Will I Am probably would have been your... Yeah, that would have been my cup of tea. But he's very friendly, he's very lovely. No, wait, sorry, I'm even vexed for that. So you go on the voice now, they called you to do your thing. They now turn around and they're telling you who to pick. Yeah, and they tell them when to turn around. Did you know TV's fake? No, but I don't know it's that fixed, like... Yeah, no, TV, that's why I stopped it after I got what it takes, because I just felt like they pushed a narrative. To me, I just feel like, what 
built me with my covers. I don't feel like TV had I mean, your covers went everywhere. Yeah. What made you decide to start doing covers? Because the debt to that, I know it's a debt to that, but I just, yeah. it was hitting. My mom, like, she, my, I feel like, going back to the support, I think she might be my biggest supporter. Yeah. I feel like my mom encourages me so much, and I feel That's like cool. I like to try new things, just make her proud, do whatever I have to do, you get? Yeah. So I feel like she encouraged me to do the covers from from young. I, I started on Instagram, and I used to get views on Instagram. Oh. I mean, not view, not Instagram, Facebook, sorry. Facebook? Yeah, I used to get oh, dumb views on Facebook. I don't know Facebook guy. Oh, no, okay. Facebook was the days, man, RST days at all. Anyway, yeah, um, used to do that, and then went on to um, Instagram, and then I blew up from my age different to your year. What's so ironic about that, mm. the night that I'd done it, I was on live with s &E, I'll never forget. And I was bitching, I was like, like I just want to stop music, like I've been doing it, and I'm not blowing up, and doing it. Oh, so, there, so there's a point in your coat, well, the point in your, you're like still young. Three, three points already that I've been like, But you're still music. young, but I feel like I know, people fail to like, understand that content creators go through the stage and they're like, yo. I'm done, like, do you get what I'm saying? You know like, what I mean? I said to my friend so much times, like, yo, I'm not doing this TikTok thing anymore, I'm not doing YouTube anymore, da 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 da. A year later, with a matter of months, I've grown over 50,000 followers. So it's like, I feel like you just got a stick at yeah. your craft. It takes time, like, it actually goes time and it actually takes it's time. It's goes time, but then sometimes I'm like, yo, like, God, like, what, what, what are you doing? You can't rush God. You put out some good shit. And it's you like can't rush God. I know, it's true. Yeah, it's very true. It, it's just timing. That's why, like, I take time and I'm releasing my music so I know it's the right thing to do. So you went from Burner Boy, my day, my Yeah, that day. blew up my follow. And I remember awesome. I was on like 2,000 and something followers, and that blew me up to like 11K. You're lying. I swear. swear. And then I was continuing, 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 and then I done one cover, and that blew me up to like 20K. And then I remember Wait, I done. You're going too fast. No, why? So my year is different to your year, yeah. 11K. What happened at that point? That's when I got signed to Black Butter. Did anybody big recognize that? Yeah, or? yeah, yeah. A lot of faces, like a lot of like tank, tank the game. Okay. Um, and a couple others, they redone like some work and stuff. She's got a really like quiet voice. I don't know why she's trying to be so sweet for the camera. I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. No, but it's a nice sort of voice, like it's even to listen to you, do you know what I mean? Yeah, oh thanks. Then I done another, I didn't clue me up, and then I done the Dex Adaption. Yo, my love that one there, it's sweet, me. Nah, I like that one, that one was cool. Yeah, done that. Yeah, that was one of my favourites. Thank you. I went through YouTube yesterday and I looked through all of them and I was like, I remember I saw this one, I remember I saw this one. Breaking news, yeah. call me if. Which one did you first? Uh, I don't know, I didn't, I didn't write down this time stamp. I think I done. Cool. No, I'm not breaking news first. That shot me up from Hollywood and I like that. Did he acknowledge it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. He put it up on his um, I think Insta I page. When I saw you again, yeah. I recognised your face. Oh, okay. I just didn't. Know your name. My name. I was like, wait, so the same girl that's not there with the headphones in her head and and and, and. Yeah. <laughs> like, Let me tell you something, because obviously you was in, you did your competitions, you did the Olympics, mm -hmm. you did this and that. What felt different from that time to now? Okay, cool. From the Olympic time, like I had like a small amount of supporters. I feel like from I mean, to the, um, that, so that thing, my Instagram activity just grew to get, mm -hmm. I feel like, that was it, just having more support. I feel like I don't do anything for likes or followers, like, that's not me. I love, like, endorsing my supporters. I love that they support me. Someone don't do that, like, this is actually, I'm actually like, But I feel like you get kind of used to it, though. Yeah, you get used to it yeah. for someone who don't like it. So you just got to be a day in life, innit? You're a bit of a toxic one. My day in life. Oh. I don't have a day in life. Are you day in life? No. Are you open to day? Do you I'm want open. someone to sign into your day? I don't. You don't? No. Why are you focus on your money at the moment? I'm focused on my music. I feel like I need some time to heal. Wait. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm going to fuck you up like that. I need some. No, no. <laughs> I just need time to heal. I just feel like I'm more... Time to heal when you said you're the troublemaker, you're not the I am the troublemaker, but I'm just like, in that sense, I need to... I don't feel, I don't, I don't feel like anyone's genuine. I what? feel like my last was the most genuine I can ever have. Genuine in what sense? As in, like, you see with me, if I'm dating someone, I don't want you to care about my music, I don't want to care about my social, see? I don't want to care about anything. See? You get it? I, I just want you to care about me. And that's it. That last I one think you, I, was people the don't perfect understand. match. <laughs> you get it? Yeah. And obviously I fucked it. I'm so people, right but do you know how hard it is to date when you have a, like when you have a following or people on your face? Mm -hmm. like, it's like they put the attention over you, or they feel like, oh, you feel like you've got followers, that's why this, this, that, and the next. And like, it just becomes a topic of discussion yeah. in a relationship when it doesn't need to be. And you argue about dumb shit all the time. Dumb shit, exactly. Like people giving you attention. Oh, because you're out now, that's the idea of Yeah. <laughs> 
That was just I me. Know. The other day I was in a smash and pass video. What the fuck are you do? I'm a YouTuber, it comes first at the end of the day. From I tell you your position. Yeah. No, that's your position, like, yo my girl, yo my wife, he's gonna be that like at the yeah. end of the day. I mean, wasn't even talking about sound, so I don't understand. But anyway, it's good. My last taught me a lot. Like what sense? What what sense a lot. Like there's relationships, not relationships, yeah. spiritual stuff, like she taught me a mad long. Yeah. So I feel like I'm taking in what she's saying now. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I should have been taking it in before. I'm taking it in now. So yeah. I'm just healing and focusing on my music and I'm hundred percent. Shut up, shut up, shut up. Oh, yeah. Is she came out now or did you take it away? 100%. Oh my god. Oh no. <laughs> yeah, no, like, I feel like, no, but I just feel like she taught me a lot. I don't know. You like, like being in relationships? I like being, no, I don't. I don't, I like being in that relationship. I like being in that relationship. I don't like, I just feel like I'm still young, so what am I getting tied down for? But you see, if that relationship, if I had done what I needed to do, then I wouldn't mind it. So that person is an ideal person? 100%. Okay, no. This is gonna be so bad. Oh my gosh, when this comes out. Okay, so leave it that for a minute. Yeah, let's, 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 let's give that a little brief, right? Do you understand? Yeah. What do you feel like? Okay, you're in the UK. Yeah. You're kind of global. Yeah. Got to follow your face recognized when you walk around. Yeah, but that's you that's in slow motion. Cool. Yeah. What do you feel like the scene is at the moment? Or what is lacking? Oh my gosh, I'm so glad you asked me that. <laughs> new lyrics, new flows. New originality. And originality. Like, like, fucking all hell. of you have copy trumpets. Nine of them. What the hell? Same sound, new, like different sound. Yeah. I feel like. There's just so much to music. Everybody stays in the same bracket. Yeah. Like there's so many genres that I explore mm-hmm. that I put into my music. Mm-hmm. I feel like everybody tries to be everyone. Like I feel yeah. like there's no originality anymore. Yeah. And I feel like the UK artists that I listen to are UK artists that are not out. They haven't blown yet. Like okay. I listen to proper like artists. I just feel like that's what the UK lacks. I love you. Allery, and my bestie, she was on my voice as well, but I really didn't matter pronounce her name, she's really gone cuss me, she watched it, I love it. I feel like a lot of them sample other people's music is not original, I feel yeah. like a lot of them are lacking like the, like... The raspiness, yeah. the huskiness, everything, I just feel and like... I feel like they get the one song, it get big, mm. the, follow, the follow-up song does not bad. It do- and <laughs> it's just like, it's true. they're sitting on their flat, like, yeah. people that were popping last year, April for this year, like, 100%. and that was your time to grab your team. Mm-hmm. Do you know what I mean? And last year, was, was it, is that the time that you released it for Yeah, last year, last year. That's what I'm saying. You came in your day or you released another band now. Mm-hmm. So I feel like, again, you said with time, yeah. obviously, you're like, you, you programmatic brand yeah. or whatever. But I feel like you will get far because you've been doing this for, for yeah. a minute and yeah. you know what you need to do. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Would you say there's a particular UK artist that you look up to? That are, no. No. I don't look up to any UK artists. Not on no shade, but I just don't look up to any UK artists. I just feel like there's no UK artists to look up to. <laughs> Do you get it? In- I feel like my uh, my love, I'm at a bond. She's so cold. She wouldn't know. I don't know. That's my point exactly. Yeah. That's my point exactly. So there's no one in the UK that you that you aspire to collab with. No. You said before that you're not a UK dancehall artist. Yes. A lot of people would. They need to not have that narrative. If I'm pushing that narrative, I'm so sorry. I need to not push that. But it's not that. necessarily rapping though. You're embracing the culture. Yeah, I'm embracing the culture, but I'm not a dancer artist. I'm an R&B baby. It sounds good, so don't change. Yeah. No, no, definitely, that. no, yeah. no, definitely. But I'm just saying, like, see how football's a hobby to me. Yeah. Dance was a hobby to me. Okay. R&B is what. I, that's but me. I feel like it's doing well for you though. So do you feel like that's something? Dance, the yeah, dance yeah, yeah, but so is the R&B. The R&B has a mixed together. Out. I feel like you know. Yeah, I do like the R&B dance, yeah. kind of thing. Yeah, but I'm saying like once my R&B music. <laughs> And my RB EP drops. But my question is, do you feel like you would have blown a bit more if you was older? You're young. No. 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 Why? You don't know the collab that I've got coming. You don't know that a lot of things that I've. That's what I'm saying, it's timing. Yeah. Everything, like, to, for me, everything is timing. I feel like if you don't have a fuck all to do with it, I feel like, what's that, what's that little little girl name? You're looking at her over there sorry, like she's supposed to be talking so There's a little girl in, in America yeah. and she's blown like there's no tomorrow. 
Oh, yeah. she's like nine. So which country would you go to now to work on your work if you was able to? My um, R&B song? Yeah. Um, states, I understand. I feel like UK don't take R&B serious. UK don't take that serious, huh? <laughs> <laughs> Nah, especially as a female as well, they don't take it serious. Ah, females have it better than men though. Excuse me? Males have it way better than females. No, men endorse each other more. Hundred women are more yeah. on the back, but like, they're more... Competitive thing, yeah. yeah. They, you see you walk into a place that, you know she thinks she's cool now, Yeah, like, like, all of that, I don't, yeah. What has been your worst experience or interaction with another female artist? Yeah. I've never had or one. Or just any artist? I've never had one. Hmm. Really? You just said any, I feel you're talking about female, but like female wise, I've never had any bad experience. I'm just good vibes, like I'm free spirit, free mind. I get so I don't, to get in, like I don't participate in fuck with Well, you said female, so it's been a male. I'm not asking to call yeah. it, but what's been the experience? Just, if you, want to um, you know, just not being original. They called you up and not being original? No, no, they haven't been original. Like, see, I've got a lot of exclusives, and see, yeah, you feel my life, and like, my life's open to everyone, and people can be on my life and take lyrics and do the thing. Oh, they take a few So that's what I'm saying, like, the originality. Oh, so there's lots of people there. that do what you feel, something, and yeah, they're like, oh, they're no, they're no, 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 no. Did you try acting and be like, oh, what's going on? Oh, no, 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 I didn't act like anyone. I just, you know, hypocrite, you know, the petty side of things, I don't like it. What do you think of the UK dance scene? And I feel like it's not very broad. How would you ask me that? I feel like there's, okay, we have the style of jeans and then we might have... You know, for a long time I didn't know he was from the UK. Really? Yeah, for a long time I didn't know him. But he's like, me and him, like, we're like that. Like, he's so lovely. Really? He's yeah, I met him before, actually. He's, he's lovely. Really, yeah, he's lovely. He's energy, so... Really calm cool guy. I went yeah. to his birthday, like, he was a really... Yeah, like, he's proper nice. Very, yeah. very nice. So you have the style of jeans. Mm -hmm. Then you might have the IQ and then the this, this, that. Oh. <laughs> no, 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 come to me. Yeah, so... <laughs> I'm sorry. This has been the best one. Oh, really? yeah. 100%. This has been the best no, you one. No, you could have left it rolling. Oh my god. Fucking hell, mate. This is the best one to be ever. <laughs> I really like your vibes. Thank you. I like yours. Fucking hell, man. Oh. Shit. This is so. We have the dirty people then, right? Yeah. <laughs> I feel like the UK dance will see this isn't giving what it's supposed to, to give. give. Yeah? Oh, okay. Alright, so you don't come from yard and you're not in yard, but then you're trying to make the yard thing. Mm -hmm. If you're going to do the yard thing, do the yard thing properly. There's nothing wrong. Yeah. You're in the UK, you have the opportunity to go to better studios, you've got to better this, you've got to better that. But then I also feel like don't, give me, don't reach a certain place and then feel like you're too good for people and then you're going to come to people's things. Oh, I love you. Do you know what I mean? Love you so much. That's the way I like that. Don't worry about that. You tried YouTube for a bit. Yeah. What happened to that? I just thought, I can't be bothered. I feel no, like it's so long. I feel like, you, don't you feel like sometimes it was wrong? Bro, I stopped for two months. I was you get it? Like, I, just, I done it once and I said, yeah, I'm going to get it. It was just a thing, like a Q&A, quick Q&A, and I said, yeah, fuck this, this is wrong. But you know what it is? I feel like people, okay, so whenever, whenever, whenever I've expressed to people like, yo, I'm done with this YouTube thing. Yeah. Bro, when you hit this normal, you hit that. Like, it's not like that. Like, you have to have a passion for something. Yeah. Like, sometimes I lose that passion. It's just yeah. like it's not there. You put out a banging video and then I'm like, bro, you feel like it's not doing enough. Mm -hmm. And I just feel like people underestimate how much time and energy it takes to produce the yeah. content. Mm -hmm. So know. with you, though, you did like two videos and you called it a day. I called it a day. Why? Because I don't have enough time on my hands. A lot of people have time on their hands to do something. I will not have that time. I feel What's like, it? especially with like music, like studio, like I'd rather be at studio than anywhere else. So mm, I feel like I've got it. Yeah, that's my element. Like yeah. I, I feel like I put like that's my natural habitat. I feel like I put a lot of energy and a lot of time into studio session yeah. than anything else. So I feel like the YouTube thing, especially editing, that's fucking long. You have time. I don't have time. <laughs> Do you get it? So I just done it because, and obviously my supporters on Instagram, yeah. they was really for asking sure. for it. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So I just done it. I gave it a little a go, and then I said, "Yeah, this is not my fault. I have to sing." Are you coming back? I don't know. Mm, you should. Do you think? Yeah. Yeah, maybe. You have the personality. Yeah, but with the right people. Though. Yeah, with the right people. Yeah. Like, I kind of said to myself that I can't lie. Like when I come back to the YouTube scene, like I am now, I'm not doing no videos with content creators like that. It's strictly 
with my friends because I just mm. feel like it's very hard to work with people that you don't, especially like back like now. Mm -hmm. If it wasn't so natural, mm -hmm. the video would have been. Yeah, you know what I mean? And I feel like a lot of the people popping right now are Africans mm. and they don't understand the Jamaican culture so much, but they'd have to bake it off. You know yeah. I mean? Nothing wrong with that culture appreciation, but Jamaicans mix it with Africans, you will cost you bumper club and say suck your man and they don't understand what you're saying. Mm. Or like I was in Bachelor the other day and I'm saying that some people carry green arms, you don't understand what that means. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So it's kind of like it's, it's, it's jarring at the end of the day. So if I didn't get a new camera and, 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 and Matt McCann, you lost wouldn't see me back here because it's just like... It's, but this is your passion, man. Yeah, content creating <coughs> TikToks, they're not going to mad. So, mm. so, yeah. Wait, so you're not going to come back? Maybe. If we kill a I'll come back. Oh, you're going to come back? Yeah, let's go. Yeah, yeah. That's it? <laughs> <laughs> I feel like you should come back to YouTube though. Yeah, no, I'll try. If you had the age to get married, what do you do? I don't want to get married. Huh? I don't get married. Shut the fuck up, bro. I should. I feel like at one point you would reach that age and like, yo. I feel like at that point you need to tell me that you reach that girl, point. Sorry, the girl that like, she wants to holler her back, yeah? <laughs> Propose to her and see what she says. Oh, then, no, it's not like that. I just feel like marriage is more oh, that is finest. Don't bash me, no one bash me. I just feel like marriage is, why do I have to fucking, nah, man. I feel like marriage <laughs> has been for taken me. for liberty, like. 100%, I feel like now, this generation, yeah. marriage is a trend. 100%, you're married to get a visa, and then you just, like, do you know what I mean? Like, it just doesn't, it doesn't. I'm actually done with it. <laughs> I just feel like a lot of things in this generation is a trend now. I feel yeah. like there's no originality no more. Like, I just feel like, but I feel like me, I don't know, man. It's not. That will never happen. <laughs> it's that bad, <laughs> So, I've got a couple questions of your followers that I've asked. And these are questions that you have asked that you want me to ask her. <laughs> so, first question is, who would be your dream collaboration and why? My dream collab. Male and female. Male and female. My dream collab, female, definitely Alina Baraz. I don't know who that is, but I want to pretend I can do. Yeah. Um, male, <laughs> Ooh, that's a tough one. You're next to the sun, nice, that's my Do you think? Yeah, I'm so. But that's not my dream collab. I feel like that would be a sick collab. Yeah, that would be a sick collab. I feel like my dream collab would be. You love girls. You love those girls. You love <laughs> Yeah. It'll be nice. When are you going to Jamaica? Then what are you Monday. Really? <laughs> yeah, I'm fine. I'm sad. I got no more sad. We don't do this again. When are you taking YouTube videos again? Couple months. I think after the remix, after slow motion remix. Okay, you've seen my video before. Oh, that's a good question. What inspired you to do slow motion? What was? Tell the truth. Yeah, let me see. Okay. Please, we only want this year. The last year's version, I just done it because of, obviously because of the pandemic, innit? Mm -hmm. But this year's version, um, I had a belly ache. The, the chorus yeah. is to do my belly ache. I had a belly ache. Uh... Yeah. <laughs> 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 oh my god. That was so nice. You are so nice. You are. Yeah. That is actually it, but I was on the mic. It was on the mic, so that was my first <laughs> melody. And yeah. then I said, fuck, that sounds good. But then I just it again. And you got even the diary and it's like, oh. <laughs> Lich, no. that was it. Why? So what was the inspiration behind the song? Like, oh, like, about the lyrics? Um, I was on a night out with Big at the time. And it was a good night. It was a good night and it was just lit, man. So I just yeah. made something like that. Okay. Yeah. Is the EP still on the way? 100%. Definitely, closer yeah, than you guys think. How old are you? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> What's your favorite genre of music? Apart from R&B. Apart from R&B. Uh, uh, definitely dance or Definitely dance or Definitely dance I know that's so bad, isn't it? It's definitely not dance I think it's soccer. Ooh, soccer's a vibe. You're coming with me. I'm ganging. Come on, man. Yeah, but on. definitely. I think it's definitely soccer. 100%. Okay, breast or back? <laughs> Sorry, mama. <laughs> this has to be one. Oh, I don't know. You could be the wrong one. Oh, okay, I just want to say. Like, I can't be clapping. It feels like a bone. <laughs> what direction do you see your career going then? Do you see yourself limiting yourself just to artistry or. I feel like. No, I don't feel like I'm just going to be a musician. I feel like the acting will definitely come back. Yeah. Like I'm starting to sound that's coming very soon. I can't take that, but yeah, it's coming very soon. Yeah. But I feel like I see myself just everywhere, just not even. Yeah, obviously global, but I just feel like I there's think everyone no wants end. to be global, yeah. Yeah, like I don't want to be global, but I know that's You have I, longevity. Yeah, I have longevity. But I feel like 
I just, it's non-stop, man. And it's great that you have a great support system. Yeah. You reach far. Yeah. I can see you reach far. She has good energy, so that's what I like. Have you got any questions for me before we end up running? Like, no, you know. Do you like what I'm wearing? Yeah, true. You, like, you, know, you know, like, I actually, like, I'm a drip guru, but I don't like how to do it. But I'm actually a drip guru. I can see. I yeah, can get I like, like that. I like that. You like the glasses, the glasses. Like nice. The hair part. Yeah, I'm if I was a fast trip. Oh. Hey, you know, you know, I'm for me on the road. I'm catching up. You know what I mean, like. <laughs> but yeah, anyways, guys, as you know already, this interview is being sponsored by in partnership with Indra Studios. So check out their space. Links in the description box below. Where can they find you? Um, my Instagram, I'm Mario underscore BB. My Twitter is I'm Mario underscore BB. Anything new coming soon? Very soon. Right? Yes, very soon. Right, cool. <laughs> check out my mask business. They're not real, but they're very good quality. You should understand. All right, cool. So yeah, make sure you guys like, comment if you need to. Channel, make sure you guys subscribe. Thank you guys for tuning into the first episode of me coming back of airtime with you see you guys in the next video and we're out peace fuck it up that was cool that was a good interview yeah that was i really, really like cool. that so